So for today's vibe, today's tutorial, we're gonna be making straight up dubstep. When I push, I feel good. When I pull, I feel good. When I 141 BPM. We're gonna focus on the drop section, the loop. And you're gonna get to see almost every single knob that I tweak, effect I add, instrument I use. If it's like only one or two sounds doing a certain thing, they have to be doing something that is amazing and catches our interest. And they have to be a sound that is distinctive and stands out from everything else. Instead of adding layers and layers and layers and trying to compensate for your lack of creativity. So I've actually got this synth up sound that I put in a sampler and was just messing around with it. Added a bit of reverb, a bit of delay. That filter is turned off, but let's have a listen. I've warped it and played with the length a few times. Like even that, you could switch it, use that one just before the drop or something like that, you know? So the more ways you can use the same sound, the easier it is to glue sections of your track because you're using bits of the same material. I also had this drum percussion thing, what's this? We might not use it. Regardless, I need a drum kit. Layer it maybe? A lot of these kicks are nice, but I don't know which one it's going to be. You know it's too long. You know it already. Let's try and add some drums real quick. I feel a little bit slower today, like I ain't used Ableton before. What's going on? Something like this, right? Interesting. Try this kick. Maybe right at the end? Maybe pitch it up. Yes, filter some of that bottom out. But that will come at the end of eight bars instead of four. How can we make it better without having to get a new snare? Let's first of all make it louder. Tune it up. Take off some of the bottom of this dirty clap. Tune this control the sustain of that. That could be louder too. Maybe <laughs> layer this snare as well. Control the sustain of that again. Tune that up. Definitely take off the bottom of this snare. So we've got that. Oh, this can be even shorter. Like that. Don't know about the tuning of this one. Maybe too high. Okay, it's got the right flavour of snare, so we're going to leave that. This kick, I don't know about that. Oh. So that had a filter on it that we might not need. That's a nice kick. That's nice. Cool, and then what we're going to do is find a shaker. That's the one. Let's try this. It needs to skitter like this. Like that, that's all I wanted. That groove was just so wrong. You know you forgot that you put that there. So what we're gonna do for this one is interesting. If you look here, the second half, I'm talking about this area, has something different in the end over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep this first half twice and then bring the second half later. And we do that by re-triggering the sample like this, as you can see, twice and then a long one. But, what drum pattern is complete without a groove? So what if I told you I stole a groove from Skrillex? Let's see what happens. It's happening too much. So what if I put a little bit less of it? Timing, right? 33%. That's interesting because we made that whole drum pattern without anything else. So everything else has to link up to the groove of the drums. What we're going to do is we're going to put the drum bus on as well. Even less, 33. Yeah. 
here. Like that. Okay. What the hell? I've got an LFO on the filter frequency of this filter, giving it movement. I set that up like, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. What's this? That might need to be like this. And I made the loop re-trigger every four, two bars. This version of what we have so far is the version where that sample is the main character. And it's all right, it's not where I wanna be, but vocals and bass, that's really all I'm trying to do at the moment. Get a vocal and a bass and just work on what we have. I want some phrases. Someone talk to me. It's the queen sitting here and I don't stop over and over, over and over, over and over. I just want to sync it even more so oh. I get even more control. Over and... It's faster, what the hell? <laughs> I'm doing it wrong. I've been doing it wrong this whole time. Over and over and over, over and over. I knew it needed to be on the two, that two right there. But it works now, so who cares? All right, let's just drop that in there. It's got the right bounce. Over, over and over. Oh, let's play with something over, like... Over. The phrase is probably too short to over, 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 capture what I want. Over, over, over. Over, over, and over, 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 over and over. But what you can do with that now is get your octave work. Over, over and over. Over and over. Don't ask me. Delay. Just drop it to 25. I know it's something like a four. Over, over and over. That's gonna need the maddest effect to make it even sound remotely interesting. Frequency shift could be crazy. When you know which effects are change the sound a little, a medium amount and a lot, then you know where to jump to. If that's gonna be any form of interesting, there's gotta be wild. So shift, it's not even called frequency shifter. I was there typing in. Over. Over and over. Like that. Ooh. But we shift it before we do our spatial things, right? Cut. Uh, messing with the delay. But after the shifter, I'm gonna EQ it because I said so. Gently. Gently. I mean, that's not great, but we do what we can. Can I get back to that folder? Because if I use more of her words, I just need one particular word. It's the queen sitting here and I don't stop. I don't think I can use that, but it's similar, so we'll keep it just in case. We've got to get this bass done, otherwise, this is not dubstepping, is it? Maybe this bass can be less melodic because we have that melodic thing in there already, so. Cool, and we're gonna get a high bass thing. I know what it needs now up here. It needs something dumb. Let's try that. Double it. Well, she harmonized herself. Awful. We will get something. We still got we got twelve minutes to find it. 
Something stupid like that, I don't even know. Kind of closer to what we want, but it's obnoxious. Have to find the pocket. I like this. We're gonna do it. <laughs> We're gonna do it. What's going on here? What's going oh! It crashed. That's what I listen to sometimes, by the way. You can see it in that, in that corner right there. Well, let's work with this. Okay. This is not bad for a sound I didn't make myself. Cut out the drums on that last part here. Like that. I mean, you could start layering things, but... Where's the LFO? I like that, that was messy bruv. Can I get that? Capture MIDI is the best thing since sliced MIDI. It's not even on time though. And I don't even have a side chain on it. I mean the EGM community is gonna come after me. How do I like to do my side chains? With a compressor, I guess, coming from the kick. There. That might just be doubled an octave higher. The glide is weird. Okay. So what was you doing that you weren't legato? I'm confused. Oh, okay. You were re-triggering the envelope that I, and I didn't like that. And then I'm going to put the compressor on the group. Last thing you need that it doesn't have is of course a sub. So maybe you use the same one. Okay. Bring it. There we go, sub. And then EQA it. Here. That bass, that you didn't stop, did you? You, you didn't stop, why? Your release is crazy. It's so important to know everything, man. <laughs> A lower one? I need a sample. That one vocal sample goes right here. And I know what it is. It's going to be spoken last. It's just... <laughs> right here. Oh, wait. I didn't even use you. It's the queen sitting here and I don't stop. Stop, stop, stop. 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 Okay. Just open it up a bit. Make it earlier. Stop. 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 It's not the greatest of samples to be using. Lastly, we get the laugh that I had. <laughs> that could be better because it's different from the girl. <laughs> Ugh, messy. <laughs> that needs to be chopped now. The hell? <laughs> what about the second one? <gasps> And then the bottom of that, like, the hell? <laughs> Sometimes when you do those kind of lead synth bass things, it can be so obnoxious. So I was trying to get it in a way that didn't annoy me if I had to hear it over and over again. It reminds me of kind of like something a Hamdi would do. The main focus is on making crazy, exciting dance music, but has a core focus on like being able to connect with people, whether that's on the dance floor, whether you're just on the train with your headphones it's really made for like the people to listen to like it's not just like me ego painting like all over the DAW like over over and over over and over Stop.